salutations. Um, I was asked on a number of occasions about these bags that are on my wife's Can-Am and how I went about installing them because they're not factory bags. And while it was not the easiest thing in the world, it actually comes with everything you need in order to install them. And I'm not going to take them off and do it again, but I can certainly show you how they're mounted so you'll get a decent idea of what you got to do if you're going to buy these bags. I'm going to show you the bags and then I'm going to kind of walk you through the process. So if you want to buy the bags, um, my wife has the details. I guess I'll post them in the comments to this video that I plan on posting on Facebook in the can group. Okay, so here's the bags. Here's the look. Okay, that's the look. I think they look super sharp. Um, that white piece has screws on the inside of the bag, so you can absolutely take them out and, um, you know, repaint them whatever color you match to your, uh, the pieces on the, uh, above the lights. And I mounted speakers on it, but that's not what we're here about. All right, um, we're gonna have to go low. The bags come with all the brackets, but I, at first I like fabricated something and then I woke up one morning and I said that there's a better way. So if you look under here, you'll see the Sling Mods logo, which I think is where the bags came from. But if you see that cross section where that screw is in the middle, one on this side goes behind the max mount hole and this one goes in front of I think the same max mount hole and then a bolt goes through the middle in order to kind of make the crisscross and then as you go out to this side there's these left pieces you know dead center there's these L brackets on both sides and those L brackets will connect you up now I didn't just want two points of contact so there's other pieces that came with and that top rail goes forward and it bolts to I think another piece that would be like attached to the max mount and so you crisscross and then you come off of that piece also those pieces came with the bags and on same thing on both sides it's not really rocket science if you look closely you'll see how it kind of comes and connects I'll go to the outside so you can see where that's going and this is where it connects right here right there kind of wait let me just make sure so right here and then it bolts up and behind here there's a screw that's going up into here into the max mount and the screws came with the max mount so those holes were already had screws in them and the bags come and you got to add this piece which is metal to the plastic it bolts on the inside nuts and bolts and then but the tricky part was I wanted three points of contact so I had one two pieces and I wanted a third so this is the max mount right here and um, the max mount there were L brackets that you're looking here that come down and connect to the bag but across the top here these these there's a two long pieces and what I did is the two long pieces that are here I went through both and I drilled holes through the max mount so I can go nuts and bolts on the bottom to hold it in place and then the bolts that came, then I had to buy more bolts to attach these L brackets to those two pieces both sides and then connect so it comes here disconnect bolt disconnect bolt across disconnect bolt then down to here and they're on firm there is a little bounce but not much and the, the swing arm is clear so nothing touches the tire the ones that I fabricated kind of went from here to here and I didn't like those I just kind of woke up and remembered that I had more pieces and I decided to go across the top so for the top what I did is to cover those bolt holes she already bought this leather piece it's not good for a back seat, but it's just decorative. And I put, put some padding so that the bolts didn't show through. And I covered the padding, covered the bolts with the padding, and then I put the leather over the top of it so you can't see the bolts, you know, protruding through the leather. And um, this is what they look like. 
you know and I wired these particular bags come with uh, wires and the lights right here and I wired those into the blinkers here so when you turn on the left or right blinker the lights on the bags also illuminate and blink accordingly you can do it with the brakes too which is probably the safer bet but I just did it to the blinkers because I figured it would be nice because it's further out and with the lights blinking you know it's, it's better indicators so people can see but that's you know how the install goes it's not really rocket science you can do it as long as you have a drill to punch holes and you don't mind punching holes in your max mount um, you should be okay um, you can't see the holes so it doesn't much matter and I believe the back seat will still go over those brackets I don't have a back seat for her yet she doesn't take passengers so it doesn't much matter and um, but that's how they went on people ask me you know how did you do that because the max mount is a single side bag and even though it's a three-wheeler and you know that you don't have to worry about balance like you do with a motorcycle I just didn't want to have it look unbalanced so one bag on one side is kind of lame and having two bags gives you double the storage instead of just one so you know that's the breakdown that's how I did it and it's not hard everything that you need comes with the bags with the exception of a few bolts nuts and bolts I use stainless steel nuts and bolts and washers to kind of link it all together and um, I had to use a drill to kind of drill a hole in the max mount. Two holes. Two holes is about as big as the holes in the um, brackets that came with. And um, once you make the holes and you have your nuts and your bolts and your washer, stainless steel, I think half inch and an uh, inch and a half long. And then you're good to go. Um, the windshield is plenty we rode from the yesterday believe it or not from new jersey to maine where we are now and she had um we already had the windshield installed and so she loves it it's adjustable you can go up or down you gotta go up in order to be able to get into your frunk um other adjustments or modifications we did is the halogen bulbs which are like mega bright even during the day they're pretty friggin awesome um i think i got those from sling mods too totally worth it so she has better visibility. She doesn't really ride a lot at night, but during the day, it's good visibility. Um, and the speakers are mounted under here. A lot of people say, well, how the hell did you get the speakers on there? Did you have to penetrate it? No, I didn't. Um, I had just aluminum. You'll see aluminum there. And these pieces right here, these pieces here, after you remove this and you remove this, there's a couple of bolts that hold this on. And then once that's off, there's bolts that hold the headlight in in place. So what I did is this bracket kind of goes under those bolts, you know, hold that in place. They're, it's bent to shape to be able to come out from under here. And then I use uh, double-sided sticky first. I didn't like that. So I did Velcro, like sticky Velcro to the back of to the other side of this and to the side of the bike so it's not penetrating it's just sticky with velcro and then you push it together and it doesn't bounce it doesn't move very much and um the, the power is tied into the battery and um so she has to reach in her frunk to turn the battery off um you know when she's riding and the bluetooth attaches to her phone which is mounted here we use the uh mod armor bracket and the power comes right out of the front goes to her phone she can control her music from her phone so she's got good tunes so it's not super great during highway speeds when there's a lot of wind noise but um you know side roads and back roads where we spend most of our time it's fine and um that's the mod so the speakers the windshield the headlights and the bags tied in so that the blinkers work and everything's good to go everything got here to Maine in one piece and she rides nice she doesn't like to modify anything on the suspension she doesn't care to take back seat passengers so that doesn't matter 
and she's enjoying it. She used to be on two wheels, now she's on four, and she we go everywhere with it. Obviously, Jersey to Maine, and she made it, no problem. So, that's that. So, people asked, what's the deal? How'd you do that? Now you know. Um, I think they look sharp. We want to take those white pieces off that are on there and um, get the take one of these pieces in the off season this winter because it's like a pearl white color i don't know if the, it really captures the color well i'm going to take that piece off and then color match it and make these pieces the same color as that and somebody's putting some uh some tribal art she has a buddy of hers at work who's going to paint tribal art and we're going to take it and put it on uh, the vinyls and just put vinyls on both sides with the tribal art but you know she just she likes um, what do you call it water like orchids or whatever the heck these are I don't can't remember what that design is but that's what she likes it's on her helmet too a similar design not as intricate but you know she doesn't want like too much she doesn't want it to be too brash or too much uh, artsy stuff going on but that's my wife's Can-Am. That's the bags. That's the mods we made to make it a little safer. So better lights and bags so she can have some storage and speakers so she can have her tunes and windshield. I know it looks like a whopping big windshield, but it does work out. Um, for her size, she's about 5'6", five, 5'7", five, I guess. The, that, the top of that windshield is just over her head. That's also available at Sling Mods. It's not the sport one. Um, it's the touring one, but it's not the biggest one. There's one actually bigger than this. This is the second one down in size. And it's adjustable, so you can move it up and down. And that goes right over her head. So at 80 miles an hour, you know, there's no wind directly in her face. And she can hear her tunes fairly well. And there you go. That's all the mods. Anybody have any questions, you can message. Um, Everything that she bought as far as the windshield and the speakers and the bags are available on Sling Mods. And like she said, how long has that sticker been there? I said, that sticker's been there since I installed your bags. So I just threw a Sling Mod sticker on there. It came with the bags. Like, what the hell? Who cares? And um, so Sling Mods definitely big out to you guys for making good stuff. There could have been more instructions on the bags, but I figured it out. It's not rocket science. And um, everything works. It's good to go. All right. Any questions, you can put them in the comments. Um, everything came from Sling Mods. So, you know, like, oh, can I get a link to that? Go to slingmods.com and just search bags, windshield, speakers, respectively, and the bulbs, the halogen bulbs. And you will find everything you need. In order to do it, you're going to need to get some stainless steel bolts for those bags. But all the other brackets and what have you, all the hardware, came with. And without instructions, it's not like ridiculous, but it doesn't have any instructions at all on how to mount it to anything. So you got to kind of figure it out. And I just showed you pictures and all that. And uh, well, I showed you video so you can see very clearly, you know, what was done and how I did it. You're going to need to penetrate with two holes and layer the two brackets and coast through both brackets through the tail and then bolt it all down and then you're good to go like you can see and this has a little bit of bounce but not much everything's tight it's just the metal has some flex in it but it returns to shape so it's not that bad it looks to me as though actually you know everything's tight everything's tight so it's good to go i was behind her for most of the way i like to let her lead and nothing was bouncing around too much everything solid they were loaded up with all kinds of stuff and they made it so i'm gonna call it a good install i'm gonna call it good equipment thank you sling mods um if you guys looking for bright bulbs or windshields or bags this outfitted her just fine this is the 900 it came with the max mount you cannot do the bags without the max mount so definitely get that if you have a 600, you can put a max mount on it, but the 900 comes with it, so it wasn't a big deal. And uh, that's it. And not like it matters, but that's my victory right there. F followed her all the way here, and we're here in Maine on my birthday to chill. So I just figured I'd take the time being at the bikes out to show you what was done and how it was done. All right. Thanks, guys. Any questions, give a holler. Have a great one. Peace.